Sir was a great hype in the television about the IPL cricket match. With lot of excitement, I went to watch it live in the stadium. With my face painted with three colors. Yellow on my forehead, red on my cheeks and black beard. I spotted a beautiful girl just walking towards my seat with a popcorn in her right hand, 30 ml cold drinks in her left hand and her mobile in her mouth. <laughs> as soon as the players walked into the ground, spectators cheered them by waving flags and screaming in joy. The girl who was standing beside to me also screamed in joy. Her scream was like a door that led to a sparkling goal to me. Her mobile fell off from her mouth and landed just beside my foot. Even before she could ask any help, I proactively helped her. <laughs> Picked her mobile and kept it in a purse. She greeted me as Thank you, uncle. <laughs> I tried to look cool with my hair spiked, but I felt like fool. <laughs> Have you ever felt this way? Mother said, verbally, by a young, beautiful girl with just a five letter abuse? Uncle, sticks and stones may break my bones. But the word uncle is hurt forever. Pura Khan tells the Toastmasters and guests. This episode made me realize that it's been long since I visited my village, which is in Mangalore, where I'm still seen and called as Bhaiya or brother, but not as an uncle. What the scenic beauty the village has, isn't it, my dear friends? Even before the sun sprays its rays on the Mother Earth, the cry of the roster will help the villagers to start their routine work. The walls of the most of the houses will be built in mud, and the roof will be covered with leaves. Even in hot weather, it would keep you cool as if you were in an air-conditioned room. Look at the way they have adapted themselves even without the use of technology. It's just awesome. People in villages are very humble, warm-hearted and helpful to each other. They consider everyone to be as part of their own family. There is some hatred and jealousy feeling among them. We have to really appreciate their unity. They don't dream big and run behind fulfilling big goals. They get a sound sleep at night by pulling off their blanket without being tense about loans and goals. They live a happy, peaceful life with whatever resources they have. I have noticed one thing. People in villages hardly get tense. Even if they do get tense, they go to a nearby tea, tea stall and order a cup of tea. Take out a beady which will be hidden behind their ear. <laughs> With the help of their friends' beadies, they would like it. <laughs> <coughs> Holding a teacup in their left hand and a beady in her right hand, they would release their tension by sipping a cup of tea and puffing off some. <coughs> Based on the observation, children nowadays are not as mischievous as we used to be. Excessive participation in summer camp has taken a toll on these young birds. I'm not against any summer camp, but children will never get to learn the basics of life. I am the classic example of high dosage of summer camp. <laughs> <laughs> During one of the summer holidays, just for a change, I went to my grandpa's place which is in a village. 
it used to be fun to play in the mud to to play in the mud you know, uh, uh, one morning my grandpa asked us to take the buffaloes to graze them my cousin brother who is 3 years older to me and i who was in class 5 decided to manage the buffaloes and graze them I asked him to give me a long horn buffalo. It was almost late evening when we had to return back. I cried with him to, to make me sit on the buffalo so that I can get a free ride because my legs were already hurting. Finally, he agreed to me and he mounted me on the back of the long horn buffalo. The moment I sat on it, the buffalo started to sprint faster than the Ferrari car <laughs> with its tail high up in the air like an antenna searching for signals and its ears wide open. It was very faithful. It didn't drop me in the midway. It took me to somebody else's fields, gardens, mountains and finally dropped me in front of my grandpa's cowshed right on the heaps of cow dung. My back was badly wounded as well as well designed. I didn't know that the long horn buffaloes are more aggressive than the others. <laughs> this lesson I wouldn't have got in any summer camp. <laughs> Friends, <coughs> just think that you are walking in the middle of the paddock field. Greenery all over. Cool breeze of the wind breathing, fragments of the stars, birds chirping, a stream of water flowing making a sweet sound. In some corner of the field, you could listen to calves and cows mowing. Isn't it that soothing to your heart? Just by thinking about the beauty of the village, you have forgotten yourself and made you feel lighter. If you experience it, it would be much better. So friends, please do visit your village at least once a year.